everybody, Midnight Wolf here. Welcome back to Pokemon Wolf White. And you might be wondering, why am why am I here? Well, last time, last time we took on we took on the we took on the gym in Castelli City after doing a few side events around the city, and it didn't go very well. We lost, unfortunately. I won't say exactly how, but go go back to last episode that was made at the end of last year. Yes, I'm serious to find out what happened. Anyway, we're anyway we're in Cast we're here in Nagreen City now because I have some fossils that we picked up in the that we picked up on Route Four at the beginning of at the near the beginning of last episode. So I'm gonna so I think those fossils may or may not be useful to us. So I'm gonna t so I'm gonna take a look at them. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll just you know what I'll revive all th I'll revive all three of them at the same time. All right, and Avery as well. I did some training off screen by the way, which is why Avery's a higher level now. Trisha's almost. A is almost able to evolve now, and he, you can see what the other th two are like, what the other ones are like as well. Anyway, moving on. Let's go check. Let's go check out these fossils. So we picked up, th we picked up three fossils so far: the skull fossil, the cover fossil, and the plume fossil. Let's cover the cover fossil first because that's the easiest one to go. That's the that's the that's the easier of the two to go of the two Unova ones to go over. So the cover fossil. The cover fossil becomes Tirtuga when when you revive it. Tirtuga is a pretty solid Pokemon. It's got solid. Its abilities are very solid, and it gets some pretty interesting moves to work with, like like Shell Smash, Priority Aqua Jet, and a, and a but and a, and a variety of rock and rock and rock and water moves to work with. It didn't get any any changes in this game, which is pretty odd. But regardless, it's this little guy's pretty. This little one's pretty nice. And again, with Sturdy, Sturdy's really. Both of its abilities are really good for different reasons. Sturdy because you can. Uh, Sturdy because obviously you can get off a of shell smash for free, or or you can go with Solid Rock to be to neuter any super effective move that hits you at all. So both are. So it's both abilities work for this thing. I can't really say anything else other than that. Next up, we're moving on to Archaeops. And we're gonna move on to Arkin, which is in the Plume Fossil. So, you might be curious: Did Arkin get any changes? Nope. It still has defeated for its ability. So, if you were cur so if you were thinking that it, if you were thinking that things were gonna be di were gonna be slightly different, and this thing would get a, ma a major boost with its ability, no, it's not. It it's still pretty good even with that ability. So, I don't think that's a bad idea. It did get a few new moves to work with, which could be very interesting, especially with Dragon Pulse. Especially with Dragon Pulse to help deal with those damn dragons. Earth Power, if for some reason you did, didn't get a ground move earlier, or Head Smash, if for some reason you just hate the world and want to kill everything. But regardless, that's what that's what Argon Argon didn't get really many changes as well. But this thing pro really didn't need them. It gets really good moves to work with to work with, so. You pretty much just have to be work around the ability, which is only a minor hindrance. But it is a bit hard to find citrus berries in this game, so it's a bit of a toss-up. But if you can work around its ability, it's a very fantastic mod to work with, and I can highly recommend it. Now, moving on to the final Pokemon, moving on to the final Pokemon, final fossil we can revive right now, Craniados, with the Skull Fossil. Mold Breaker and Shear Force. Take your pick. Mold Breaker to cancel out with any other ability, or Shear Force to absolutely bulldoze anything that's in your way. Take your pick. It is very, it is pretty slow, but it is pretty slow. But with this high of it, but with such a high attack stat, seriously, it's over a hundred base stat, hundred base attack as a Craniados of all things. You don't really have any reason to complain. This thing can absolutely run over anything. And the fact that it gets the two of the elemental punches as a bonus now, as a Rampardos, yeah, you really don't have any reason to complain with this thing. And if you give this thing rock polish, 
or Swords Dance. Yes, it can learn both. This thing is even more of a, is an even bigger monster and even harder to stop in the first place. So, yeah. <laughs> you, these fossils are really good. You probably should have picked, you probably should do what, you probably should have done, you probably should pick these things up before you fight the gym, assuming you haven't tried already. Uh, these are the, these are the move set. These are the move sets of these three. They'll all they'll be level 25 when you revive a fossil. So this, so really all you need, so really all you, all you need to do is save and save before you talk to the clerk, before you talk to the person at the counter, and then just reset if you don't get the ability or nature you want. So there you go. I am probably going to keep Tirtuga and Arkan on my party for for the gym battle, just in case. With especially with Blade, especially with the earlier Drayana ROM hacks, i.e. before i.e. before Re, i.e. before Renegade Platinum, you really you, with no real easy way to grind to grind in some of those games, you need to be you need to be adapt you need to adapt to what you what Pokemon you have access to. You may need to plug and play your team a bit, like what they did in Renegade Platinum. So one Pokemon might be you might have a few core Pokemon that you want to keep on your team, but you need to be able to mix and match your team your team when needed. And with grinding be a lot harder in this game, you really got to work with what you have, and you really got to work with what you have, or go absolutely nuts with the grinding. It's your choice. But I'm feeling pretty confident what I have. I do want to evolve Trisha before we start the gym battle, so I might cut away and do I might cut away real quick and do that and do then gain one more level with auto no grinding with auto no grinding right before we do take on the gym again. So I guess with that I'll cut away and be right back once I go get a, once I go get said level. This is not on no. Anyway, I'll be right back. There we go. Wants to learn protect. I'm gonna say I'm actually gonna say no to this. Be, I'm gonna say no to this because I don't think that's a good idea. Well, here we go. All right, there we go. Trisha evolves into Laron. Alright. Oh, hi, Mr. Evis. Goodbye, Mr. Evis. I said goodbye. I said goodbye. Alright. Now, with Trisha evolved, uh, actually, what do I want to. You know what? I'll give the Evil Light to Royale. I'll give the Evil Light to Royale because I. Actually. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Wait. Oh, right. Actually, you know what? I'll do a quick claw. Alright. Quick claw. I'll give it. I'll give Avery the. I'll, Avery will get the Evil Light. Avery will get the Evil Light. I mean, Royale gets it, that. Avery will get the quick claw because we'll, because we'll, we'll get the scope lens because why not? And Arcane and Tier 2 go will have nothing for this. Let's do this. I will cut back to the gym because I don't think you want to see me bike all the way back. So be right back. All right, here we are. Back at the gym. Back at back in front of the gym. Back in front of Berg again. You are. You already know. You already know what his first two. You already know what his first two mons are. In fact, I already told you what he what he has for his Pokemon. So, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said here. Let's do let's 
do this. Here we go. Versus Berg again. And as you can, he leads off of his best for Quinn's masquerade as he did the first time. Let's do this. I'm gonna get double intimidated. All right, let's do this. All right, I'm gonna. All right. I think the masquerade is gonna go with Scald, so I'm gonna switch into Royale. I'm gonna shockwave the masquerade. Yep, called it. Scald it. It burns. That sucks. All right, shockwave. Berg, Berg's Vespiquin bails. Scolipede immediately. Interesting. All right, let's do. Let's. Well, I'm burnt. So Leech Seed Scolipede. Let's kill the Masquerade. Or he's gonna do that. Down go, down goes Royale. That's not surprising. All right, let's do. Let's do. Let's bring in Arcan. All right, let's go. Let's do. Let's do Ancient Power and Shockwave. Megahorn! You what? Alright, how much does this do? Uh, Jesus! And you're going for Scald, interesting. Okay, never mind, that didn't work. Down goes Masquerade. Right, let's send back in let's send Trisha back in. Hmm. I'm more worried about the Levani. Uh yeah, let's lemon let's lemonade and for us back up. Let's do this. X scissor. Ugh. All right, I know you know what. All right, let's heal up Amph Let's heal up Amphros. and let's underway Scolipede. Let's do Amphros. All 
Alright, Heat Potion. If that was a, there's a Citrus Berry. Rock Slide's not going to do much. Alright. So, I, let's do that. Let's take out the Levani. Heal up Trisha. Quick Claw. So, Quick Claw pops. It goes, Trisha goes first and gets the Iron Head. Ah, uh, it didn't kill. Mega Horn is resisted. We're fine. Okay, so Levani's going to, Levani's going to get healed. So, if that's the kill. Okay, so let's target Skull. Let's double target Skull up here because Levain's gonna get healed anyway. Quick call. Ah, oh, wait, he didn't heal. I didn't think he was actually. I thought he was gonna heal. Weird. All right. Ooh, that was a good crit. I needed that. All right, so Skull P goes down. Who's next? Heracross. That's got to be because that's got to be because of Trisha being out there. All right, all right. We gotta paralyze that Heracross. So switch, so switch out Trisha because I need her. Put an Avery, put an Avery. X's are on Ampharos. Okay, yikes! Brick break figures. Brick break. I fig. Oh wow, Avery lived. Interesting. All right. Alright. Alright, let's hyper potion afro let's hyper potion afros. And I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go for charge and then shockwave shockwave and try and kill Heracross in one hit. Down goes Avery, that's fine. As long as a Heracross either doesn't move or doesn't kill, I should be fine. It does. It he can't move. Good. All right. Send it. Send Trisha back in. All right. Iron Head the Heracross just in case and Shockwave. Levani protects. That's perfectly fine. No damage will be taken. All right. Shockwave. It does not. Iron Head should finish it off, though. Yes. Good. All right. Yan Mega. Okay, I actually need to ch double check because I don't remember what I his Yan Mega had. All right, Yan Mega. His Yan Mega has has speed boost, protect, has speed boost for its ability or protect. U turn, air slash, and signal beam. So it can't, it cannot do any super effective move against tr against Tresha, and its main move of air slash is out. Okay, I'm gonna bank on the fact that he's going to protect turn one. I'm gonna bank on the fact. Yep, called it. I was banking on him doing that. x shouldn't kill unless it crits. Which... Ow, it didn't... Okay, it didn't kill, but ow, that freaking hurt. Alright, Iron Head. Finish off Levani. Get it out of here. I think the only thing he's... I think he's only got Vespa Quinn and Yamega left. There's his speed boost kicking in. Let's see. Yes! Intimidate, that's fine. That's it. That's his last two mons. Alright, let's... Alright. Lemonade up. Shockwit. Lemonade up, and we gotta kill... And let's kill Yon Mega before its speed boosting gets out of hand. I'm not worried... The Vesper Quinn, I'm not very worried about. You turn... You can't... You turn into... There's nothing... Static! That's even better. I can leave Yon Mega alone if I don't kill it. Boosted Shockwave. Got him! That's it. I win. Berg is at, Berg loses. He cannot... Po there's no way he can possibly stop me at this point. You turn That shouldn't kill. Stat... <laughs> Double static! Double static. Are you serious? Okay. Well, Berg, 
Berg just straight up loses at this point. He can't do anything. That's it. He's done. It's over. Third gym is mine. And I got a crit. Nice. Yes. There we go. Lederberg is done. Uh, all I needed was that what I didn't even need to use Tier Two go, which was nice. All I needed was one was one one extra teammate to take it, one extra teammate to take a hit, and a little bit better strategy, and I won. Ah, uh, nice. All right, and we get TM eighty nine U turn, so that's nice. I don't think any of my team, anything on my team can learn U turn, but it is what it is. We have won. We have won our third gym badge. I was a little, I was a little worried for a minute that I wasn't gonna actually win, the, win, but hey, pulled through, pulled through and got it. Pulled through and got it, and I didn't even need to use the revive that I got in the, that I got. And we're getting a phone call from Bianca. Yep. Yep. Bianca will fight us immediately. Bianca's gonna fight us immediately afterwards when we get when we try and leave via route four. Leave via route four. So, uh, you know what? I'll you know what? I'll do the I'll well. Do I want to do the rival battle now? Her battle is a single battle. Hmm. You know what? I'll, you know what? I'll do the. You know what? I'll do the rival battle. I'll do the rival battle just be just because it just because I've really only done one fight and had a slight grinding montage at one point. So. So I think that's fair. I'll keep Arkin in. I'll keep Arkin my party just in case I need it. Just in case I need it because why not? All right. Now I'm gonna put the XP here on Curlia because I need to get it level back leveled up. Alright, there we go. Switch. I'm also going to What do you have? Eevee Light. Oh wait, Avery didn't have the Eevee Light, so Avery lived that hit on her own. Okay, I thought Avery had it. Nope, Snivy did. Nope. Royal did so. Interesting. I'll put the aim of the coin on because I f because there may or may not be a team in the next town that I want. Assuming I can get it. Assuming it. Assuming it is there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can't buy any Castellia cones today. And all right, you know, and I'll buy a few more lemonades on the way out. You know, I'll I'll just speed this up for real quick, because these are the best. Because once we get, because the next healing item I want to get is Moomoo Moo Milks. When we, is either Hyper Potions or Moomoo Moo Milks. Probably Hyper Potions because, Harper Hyper Potions because by the time we get access to Moomoo Moo Milks at the fifth gym, I don't think they'll be that useful. So might as well just maximize these lemonades while I ha while I can. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's nothing here I can do right now. So let's go. And and once you step forward, once you step more a little bit more forward, she's gonna fight you. So just a word of warning. Uh, I wanna leave with you. You know what? I'm gonna put my faith in Avery. Why not? Let's do it. Here we go. Against Bianca. Hey, you remember the promise you made on the extra receiver, right? So let's get right to our battle. But before that. They said we can have a battle in the gate as long as we're careful not to break the electric bulletin board. And the new improved version of me, so this is going to go great this time. Let's start the Pokemon battle again. Alright, here we go. Against Bianca w one more time. Bianca still does not know how to get her Pokeball out of her bag. She should really fix that. She's going to lead off in a double battle with Mana and... With Mana and her element and whichever monkey she chooses to pick, whatever monkey she gets, which in this case is Simiseer. 
both will be level 29. The Mona has analytic for its abilities, so if it moves last, it'll do more damage. And the, and the monk and all three monkeys, regardless of which one, will have unburdened for their ability. Again, my notes are incomplete, so I do not know exactly what move. So I do not know exactly what what moves these things have, but I guess that makes it more interesting for you guys as well. Anyway. I'm not worried about the Mona at all. I'm more worried about the Simi Seer, so I'm gonna. I'm more worried about killing the Simi Seer because I, because that thing could be slightly annoying. So let's get rid of that first. The Mona only has Psy Shock, so. All right, let's see how much this does. Ooh, it didn't bit more than I was expecting. All right, trapped it in the sand tomb. Interesting. All right. Hmm. Because my plan was to kill, was to try and get rid of Simi Seer and then kill the Mana. You know what? I'll stay in. I'll stay in. I'll stay in and I'll give this a try. Okay, faint. I'll just do faint attack. Heal up. Heal up Avery just in case. I'm, just in case I'm wrong on this. Crit. Ow. And Zen Headbutt missed. Faint attack hits. Nope. Nowhere near enough. Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, let's heal up Trisha. Heal up Trisha. Heal up Trisha. Go for Iron Head. Kill the Mana, man. All right, let's see. Let's see how the, what happens. Iron Head. That's gonna easily kill. One is down. What does the What does the semi seer do? Flame burst. Jeez, that hurt. Jeez, that did a lot more than I was expecting. Do what comes out. If that's the case. All right, if that's the case, I'm gonna do this then. Double switch. Royale, switch out Royale and switch out, switch in Royale and Ampharos, and hopefully, and hopefully I got it right, because that Simi Seer should target where Trisha was, where Ampharos is now, and Royal should have been, should be targeted with a water move by that, by that duot. Karate Chop, okay, not exactly what I was expecting you to do, but alright, that works. Oh yeah, that's right, you're perfect fighting, duh, so you probably had that. And I don't... Alright, well... I'm more concerned about killing the Simi Seer, so let's do that first. Flame Burst, you targeted Ampharos. Bianca, why? Why would you target me? Why did you think that was a good idea? You, there is a... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Right. Right, uh, yeah, right. I'm part dragon. Duh. Wait, am I part dragon? No, wait, no, I'm not. Eh, never mind. Doesn't matter. I don't know why. I still don't know why Bianca thought that was a good idea. It doesn't matter. Revenge doesn't doesn't do as much because it's, it doesn't do as much. Persian comes out next. Her Persian level, her, her Persian level 31 has technician for its ability. That's all I can tell you. It probably has fake out. Also, obviously, her starter has the has a citrus. Her starter, by the way, has a citrus berry in this fight, and will have what. And unless you pick the clean version, will have its hidden ability. So, con contrary for Servine, Vital Spear for Duot, and adaptability for Pig Knight. And Pig Knight is also a fire ground type now. So watch out, and also do lots of fire, water fighting type as well. But you already knew that. Anyway, anyway, let's get rid of that duot. Let's get rid of the duot and put the and put the Persian in a in a two v one. Foul play on Ampharos. That was not a good idea. Down.
All right. All right. Now two, two on one, and this should, and she will be done. Taunt does not matter in this case. Leave tornado. And shockwave. This won't kill, but it should put you pretty close. Yep. All right, Lee Tornado again, Shockwave again, Bianca heals. All right, Shockwave. And job done. Curly gets to the level, gets two levels off that fight. Nice. And that's and that's it for that's that's the end of that rival battle. All right, and with that done, that's the end of this episode. There is a Charon fight up ahead, but I th I think I'll save that for ne for next time, along with the Desert Resort and Relic Castle on Route Four. So with that, I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Also, welcome to 2021. Let's ho let's hope that I hope this comes out good for a good start to the year. I'll catch you next time.